Concerns about this bill are multiple, aren't they? There's the content of the bill, which should have concerned us perhaps a lot more than it did. Then there's the timing of the bill, which is part of the reason why our concern has escalated since Saturday night. Um, and then there's all the other attendant issues that the bill represents, the bigger picture that it points us towards, which is, I mean, simply put, the idea that we're criminalising or further criminalising protest, even peaceful protest. Just in case you're wondering, the, the Public Order Act from 1986, uh, so under Margaret Thatcher, who was rarely accused of, of bringing in laws that were too lax or, or, or too liberal, but this is in 1986, which gave police officers powers which they've used against protesters ever since. If they believe that a demonstration risked, and I quote now, serious public disorder, serious damage to property, or serious disruption to the life of the community, then they could impose restrictions on it. Uh, for example, I suppose, y y blocking a road. that They have the right to unblock the road, even if you've tried to glue yourself to the curb. They could impose restrictions on where the protest went, if it was a march, whether it moved, if it wasn't, or, or how many people were allowed to be present. Now, many people in 86, I think, I was only 14, but considered that to be quite draconian. I imagine it had, I'm going to get my calendars wrong and you'll jump on me, um, but that's fair enough. I, I imagine it had something to do with industrial action, or, or, or I don't know, I should check the dates. Um, the new bill, second reading tomorrow, it adds another justification to that list. Noise. Seriously, noise. If the noise of the protest, and again I quote, may result in serious disruption to the activities of an organisation, then it, it becomes criminalised, or, or, or the police can sort of cart you away. So, do you remember the bloke who used to shout, all oh, politicians are liars, in the background whenever we had a microphone down on, what's it called, Green College Green? near Parliament. Oh, politicians are liars. It's quite funny. Incredibly annoying, actually, especially for Sheila, because I think it was usually on her shift that he got his boots on. But would you want him to be arrested for that? Oh, politicians are liars. Because you can now. Maybe, I don't know, you'd be in favour of that. But what if it was someone shouting about politicians you really like? What if we had a Labour government and someone was shouting, all oh, Conservatives are liars. Do you think they should be arrestable? I beg your pardon. All Labour Politicians are liars. All conservatives tell the truth. You, I mean, you see what I mean? It's so easy to get upside down on this. So that that's what they're doing, bringing in laws, noise. And obviously, I, I declare a personal interest this, in this because I am very annoying. Being annoying is getting criminalised as well. I, I, and, and, of course, people are um, cool with it because they don't think it will ever apply to them.